So in this lesson, part four, rational exponents, um, we're going to talk about uh, the properties of exponents in this lesson. Um, just a review of the um, exponent rules. So we talked about the product rule. When you multiply like bases, you add exponents. The power rule, a, um, power raised to power, you multiply the uh, exponents. When you have product raised to a power, you take each factor and raise it to that power. So a to the n times b to the n. Same thing for the quotient. The numerator to the n to the denominator to the n. Quotient rule, when you divide like bases, subtract exponents. The zero exponent, um, a non-zero base raises to zero power is going to be one. And then the negative exponent, a base that's not zero raised to a negative power, you can always write as one over um, a to that positive exponent. Okay, so let's look at this example. So I'm going to use the properties um, to simplify. All right, so number one. Let's suppose we had um, y to the 2 thirds times y to the 8 thirds. Okay, so um, here we're going to use the product rule. So when you multiply like bases, you add exponents. So we got to figure out what 2 thirds plus 8 thirds is. So 2 thirds plus 8 thirds is 10 thirds. And so you get y to the 10 thirds. Okay, so just leave your answer like this. Um, just leave it, leave it as a rational exponent. So leave the answer. as a rational exponent. Okay? All right, so there's your answer. Number two, um, x to the three bits times x to the one fourth. Now, this one was easy because the, ba uh, the denominators were the same. All right, now this one here, again, you're multiplying like bases, you use the, the product rule. So you multiply like bases, you add exponents. So three bits plus one fourth and you can use your calculator with this. Um, so 3 fifths plus 1 divided by 4 is 0.85. So rewriting it as a fraction, I get 17 twentieths. So this becomes x to the 17 twentieths. Number 3. We have 9 to the 2 sevenths divided by 9 to the 9 sevenths. Alright, so here you're going to use the quotient rule. So when you divide like bases, subtract exponents. But it's always the top exponent minus the bottom. So 9 to the 2 sevenths subtract 9 sevenths. The denominator is the same. So we just get 9 to the 2 sevenths minus 9 sevenths is negative 7 over 7, which is 9 to negative 1. All right, now you don't want any um, negative exponents in your answer, so rewrite this to where this exponent is positive. So that's going to be just 1 over 9. Number 4, we have b to the 4 ninths times b to the negative 2 ninths. All right, so again, product rule, when you multiply like bases, you add exponents. So that's b to the 4 ninths plus a negative 2 ninths. So b to the, and then 4 ninths plus a negative 2 ninths, the, the numbers are the same. So that's the easy kind, so that's 2 ninths. And so you get b to the 2 ninths. So there's your answer there. If the exponent's positive, it's written as a rational exponent. Number five. Um, suppose we had, let's see. All right, suppose we had y to the um, negative 8 thirds times y to the 4 thirds. And so when you multiply bases, you add exponents. So it'll be y to the negative 8 thirds plus 4 thirds. And so the denominators are the same. So it'll be y to the, let's see, that'll be y to the negative 4 thirds. Now again, you don't want any negative exponents, so you can write this as 1 over y to the 4 thirds. And just leave the answer with a positive exponent. All right, and then number six, you have um, three x to the one fourth y to the negative two thirds, all raised to the fourth power, divided by x to the fourth y. Okay, so here you're going to use the power of a product rule. 
So you're going to raise each of these to the fourth power. So do that first. So you're saying 3 to the fourth, x to the one fourth to the fourth, y to the negative two thirds to the fourth, all over x to the fourth, y. And then 3 to the fourth, that's 3 times 3 times 3, so that's going to be, no, it's going to be 27. Power raised to power, you can use the power rule, so it'll be 1 fourth times 4 is 1, so that's x. This is going to be y to the negative 8 thirds. So negative 2 thirds times 4 times 4 over 1 is negative 8 thirds. So that goes here. All over x to the fourth, y. And then we're going to use the quotient rule on the x's, use the quotient rule on the y's. So that becomes 27 x to the first power minus 4. So then when you divide, like base, you subtract exponents. So the, this exponent is 1, so it's 1 minus 4. Times y to the negative 8 thirds, subtract, and this exponent is 1. Subtract 1. So I get 27 x to the 1 minus 4 is a negative 3 y, and then um, let's see, negative 8 thirds minus 1 is the same thing as negative 8 thirds minus 3 over 3, which is negative 11 thirds. Now, if you uh, can't figure this out, use your calculator. So you get negative 11 over 3. All right, and then um, remember, you don't want any negative exponents. So then your answer then would be um, the only the only uh, factors raised to negative exponent of the x and the y. So the 27 stays where it is. So it's 27 divided by x to the third power times y to 11 thirds. And that will be the answer there. So again, I'm going to do this. 27. This is positive, so positive exponent it stays in the numerator. This is going to go in the denominator. So it will be x to the third, y to 11 thirds. Alright, and uh, um, I think I may have right here, I'm sorry, I said 3 to the 4th power, 3 to the 3rd power is 27, so that's 81. Let me change that to 81. So that's 81. Okay. So that's 81. I'm not sure why I said 3 to the 3rd, but it's 3 to the 4th. Okay, so that was number 6. Number seven, let's try this one. All right, you get um, x to the three fifths times x to the one third minus x squared. All right, so over here you're going to distribute. All right, so you're going to get x to the three fifths times x to the one third minus x to the three fifths times x squared. So, um, Everything in here, every term in here is going to multiply x to the 3 fifths. Okay, so we multiply like bases, you add exponents. So 3 fifths plus 1 third. So let's figure out what that is. So 3 fifths plus 1 divided by 3. And then changing that to a fraction, we get 14 fifteenths. So this right here becomes x to the 14 fifteenths minus. Over here, when you multiply like bases, you add exponents, so we've got to figure out what 3 fifths plus 2 is. So 3 divided by 5 plus 2 equals 2.6. Um, so that's 2 and 3 fifths, which you should have known because this is a whole number for it. And then changing that to a mixed number, um, to an improper fraction rather, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. So it's actually 13 fifths. So that's your answer there. Um, you can't combine these. Don't make the mistake of combining these because um, the exponents are not the same. They're different. All right, then let's look at um, 8. Um, suppose we had, let's see, I suppose we had um, 2 x to the 2 fifths, 1 and negative 1 third divided by x squared y, and that's being raised to the fifth power. All right, so again, the power product, so we're going to raise each of these to the fifth power, so 2 to the fifth, x to the 2 fifths to the fifth, y to negative 1 third to the fifth, all over x squared y. All right, 2 to the fifth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 
which is 32. Two fifths, um, again, you use the power rule here. So two fifths times five is two. Power rule here. Um, negative one third times five is negative five thirds. All over x squared, y. Right now, using the quotient rule on these, you get 32. And then remember the quotient rule when you have like basis, subtract exponents. Two minus two. And this is y to negative five thirds minus one. Two minus two is zero. So that's two x is zero power. Y to the um, that's gonna be negative five thirds minus one. And then writing this back as a fraction, you get right here. Negative five thirds minus one is negative two and two thirds, which is negative eight thirds. And then remember eight x is zero power is one, the zero uh, exponent rule. And then this right here becomes thirty-two. Y to negative eight thirds. Making sure that your exponent is positive. And that's the only one that's this is the only one that's that's negative exponent, so that becomes thirty-two over y to the eight thirds. And that's your answer. That's it clear of this lesson.